Hi, and welcome to English for You. I'm Seb, and I'm Elsie. So, Seb, a quick question for you:、hmm? What's your favorite time of year? Hmm, I'm gonna have to say summer. I love summer. everything about summer. The weather, it's great weather. Maybe not in Taiwan with the typhoons, but in、yeah. Europe, the weather、mm-hmm. is really, really good. Nice.、Uh, you can travel because you have all that vacation time,、yeah. summer vacation, and there's music and festivals as well, which is、wow. also good. Yeah. So like, there's、mm. so much to do. What about you? I like summer too because、mm. I like to get tanned. Oh, I'm jealous. I can't get tanned. Right, <laughs> but wait, I think I like spring as well because I can see different kinds of blossoms. Oh yes, that's. What do you、crazy. think about spring? Hmm. Okay. Well, spring. I mean, it's a very nice, like, happy time、yeah. for me because you know. Summer is my favorite time、mm-hmm. of year, so I know that summer is coming. So it's a good, you know, it's a nice, happy feeling. Yeah. And then you also have like the sakura,、mm-hmm. the cherry blossoms,、Ooh. all those little pink flowers which、yeah. appear in the trees, which is really, really nice. Right. Those、um, are、yeah. beautiful.、Mm-hmm. And I guess we're very lucky today. You know why? Since、right. our article is about the Hakatan Blossom、Ooh. Festival. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Reading. Celebrating the Hakka Tung Blossom Festival. Across Taiwan, masses of tung trees explode with small snow white flowers during spring. The flowers are often called April snow or May snow. They last for about a month during tung blossom season, attracting locals and tourists alike with their beauty. The importance of the tung tree exists side by side with Hakka culture. During the Japanese rule of Taiwan, tung trees were widely planted in areas where many Hakka people lived. Some of the biggest areas are in Taoyuan, Xinzhou, and Miaoli, while others include Tucheng and Yunnan. Tung oil and wood became an important cash crop for Hakka people. The oil was used as a raw material for paint because of its water resistance. Wooden shoes, matches, and toothpicks were commonly made from tung trees. At the time, products were mostly made and sold locally. The money they earned from selling tung products helped Hakka families earn a living and buy food. The Hakka people made themselves known by making tung products. And they are thankful for this important resource. While the need for tung products has decreased because of newer materials, the tree remains an important symbol for the Hakka. Okay, so our article for today is called "Celebrating the Hakka Tung Blossom Festival." Interesting. I think this might be special to Taiwan because we certainly don't have anything like this in the UK. We definitely don't have any tongue blossoms. Oh, you don't? No, we don't. So the article begins: Across Taiwan, masses of tongue trees explode with small snow white flowers during spring.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So we had masses of here, masses which、off. means lots of. So lots of trees, or a huge number of trees, just suddenly went into blossom. So、mm. masses of something is 大量的某物 Here,、mm. masses of tall trees explode. What does that mean? Ooh, well, explode is a very interesting word because when something explodes, it's a verb, by the way. When something explodes, it breaks apart very suddenly and very violently. When things explode, they can normally be very dangerous and can kill, even kill people. For example, think about a bomb falling from the sky and exploding in a huge cloud, destroying buildings and trees. We could call this an explosion, which is the noun form of the word. When we make something explode, though, we can say that we blow it up. So think about when you're detonating a bomb, when you're making a bomb blow up, and you push it down, you blow up the bomb. Now, in the article, we aren't using "explode" in the normal way.、Mm-hmm. The trees aren't going to explode into flames、Thank、and burn、God. down. Yeah, that would be dangerous. <laughs> right. No, we are talking about the flowers of the, on the trees bursting open. All the flowers are blooming very suddenly and very beautifully. Basically, "explode" here means that the number of flowers is increasing very, very quickly. 
Let's take a look at the at our example sentence that uses explode in a similar way to the article. The number of homeless people in this city has exploded in recent years. 好，那就代表这个无家可归的人数量激增。那我们以前学过的 explode 这个动词啊，它是爆炸的意思。不过在文章里面，它指的是大小、数量或重要性的激增、增多。那秋天时候的台湾呢，很多的桐树上面都会长满好多小小雪白色的桐花。And the article tells us the flowers are often called April snow or May snow. 这些花呢被叫做四月雪或五月雪。They have this name because they look like snow.、Mm, so a lot of good creative writing、mm-hmm. in this article. Our next line is: They last for about a month during tongue blossom season, attracting locals and tourists alike with their beauty. Hmm. Okay. And we had a good phrase here: last for. This useful phrase here can be used to talk about the duration of something or how long it goes on for. So it lasts for several months. Uh, so, for example, in Taiwan, summer vacation lasts for about two months. Here we are saying that the school holidays are about two months long. We can. We also saw the word alike. When this follows two nouns, it means that both of these things have been affected in the same way by something. So we saw attracting locals and tourists alike. So both local people and tourists are both very interested in the tongue blossoms. And what was last? We had last as well, didn't we? Yeah, last.、Mm-hmm. And you talked about last already. Last、mm-hmm. is a verb, right? 它是持续的意思 Last、mm-hmm. for for 后面会加持续的一段时间，代表持续多久。那这些花呢，盛开的时间大约是一个月，吸引许多人前来赏花。Mm-hmm. 那刚刚 Seb 也有提到的 locals and tourists alike， 那代表两者都有哦，当地人和观光客都有。那这个呢，就是所谓的 tongue blossom。Season, 桐花季。Mm. 那 blossom 这个字其实就是 flower， 花朵的意思。Mm-hmm. Next, the article says the importance of the tan tree exists side by side with Hakka、mm. culture. Side by side 这个片语呢，基本意思是肩并肩，像是 Seven and I are standing side by side、mm-hmm.。那它可以引申变成并存。共同的意思。那在文章当中啊，指的是桐树的重要性和客家文化是并存的。Mm. But why do they exist side by side? Well, we're about to find out. The next line is: During the Japanese rule of Taiwan, tang trees were widely planted in areas where many Hakka people lived. Okay, so it was the Japanese that brought tang blossoms to Taiwan and grew them all over the island. Do you think they liked them so much because they have pretty flowers like the cherry blossoms? Because they look a lot like cherry blossoms, right? Yeah.、Mm. Only they're white. Only they're、right? white. Yeah. So white. Cherry, cherry blossoms are pink,、mm. and those flowers are white, and I believe they're all beautiful. 那在日治时期呢，日本人在客家人居住的地方大量种植油桐花。What were the areas where many Hakka people lived? The article tells us some of the biggest areas. Are in Taoyuan, Xinzhu, and Miaoli,、mm. while others include Tucheng and Yunlin. Hmm. 今天的英文练功房里面呢，我们来复习一下 while 的用法哦。首先呢，第一种 while 放在句首的时候啊，它表示虽然、尽管的意思。那它的意思就等同于 although。那这样的第一个定义呢，我们会把它放到最后文章会出现一些句子，我们再来讨论。那第二个呢 ，while 放句首或句中的时候，表示而。但的意思，用来表示呢前后句子的对比，语义呢跟 but whereas 相近。那给同学们一个例句哦 ，Karen isn't hungry yet while her friends are ready to have lunch. Karen 还不饿，可是相反的，她的朋友已经准备好要吃午餐了。那再来第三个 while 还可以解释为当。点点点的时候，这个是最基本的用法。在国中的时候，我们会学到。那它是引导时间副词子句，常与进行式连用在一起哦。那语义呢，就跟 during the time that 相近。那可以放哪边呢？可以放句首或是句中。那再给同学们一个例句喽。Chuck was watching TV while he was eating dinner， 所以代表他边看电视边吃晚餐。Okay, so tongue oil and wood became an important cash crop 
for hacker people. A cash crop, by the way, means a plant or vegetable that people grow to earn lots of money. The tongue blossoms helped the hacker people make a lot of money. Now I see why they were side by side. Mm. Mm. So cash is 现金 crop is 农作物 cash crop 就是经济作物可以帮忙赚钱的 So what did Hakka people use tan oil for?、Mm. It says the oil was used as a raw material for paint because of its water resistance.、Mm. Okay, so we saw the word raw here, which is an adjective,、mm -hmm. and this is a handy word because it describes something that is still in its natural state. So, not changed by people in any way. We could talk about raw fish, for example, which is like the fish,、uh, which is fish that hasn't been cooked, like shou si, sushi, sushi, yes. <laughs>、uh, or we could talk about raw meat or raw uncooked vegetables too. Some people even follow a raw food diet, which is when they only eat things that are just as they would find them in nature. Wow, it's a very tricky diet、mm. to follow. In the article, we saw that the tongue tree oil was used as a raw material for painting. This means that the oil was taken straight from the tree and wasn't changed in any way. Let's take a look at the example sentence for raw now. Sarah made a healthy salad out of raw vegetables, fish, and salad dressing. Raw 这个形容词呢，就是未加工过的。天然的。那文章提到的 raw material 就是尚未加工过的原材料。桐树的油呢就被用来做成油漆，因为它有 water resistance 防水的性质。嗯哼。Our next line in the article is wooden shoes, matches, and toothpicks were commonly made from tongue trees. Okay, so they were using both the oil and the wood. Toothpicks, by the way, are those little things that you use to clean out your teeth. When you finished eating, so you can have a nice clean mouth. Right. 那文章说到呢，木质的鞋子、火柴还有牙签，普遍呢都是用桐树制成的。And the article continues, saying at the time products were mostly made and sold locally. Hmm. Right. Okay. Right. So we saw the adverb mostly there, which is a handy word, which、uh, which we saw in the phrase mostly made and sold locally. Mostly here means most of the time or to a large extent. In other words, most of the tongue products were made and sold in the area that the trees were grown. We could also say that they were mainly made and sold locally.、Uh, so our example sentence for mostly is: In the UK, people mostly drink their tea with a little bit of milk. Mostly 是一个副词，代表通常或是在大部分的情况下。那当时的产品啊，都是在地生产，还有贩卖的。And this could help Hakka people to earn some money. Yes, which is very important. The article says the money they earned from selling tongue products helped Hakka families earn a living and buy food. Very important because the Hakka families were quite poor, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Earn a living is 谋生的意思 so they became not only good at making tongue products, but also able to earn a living from it.、Mm -hmm. The article tells us the Hakka people made themselves known by making tongue products,、mm -hmm. and they are thankful for this important resource. Right, so they are thankful for this important resource. Okay, so we have an adjective here, which is very useful when someone does you a favor. When we are thankful, what we mean is that we are glad or happy that something has been done for us, especially when the situation could have been much worse. Often we say that we are thankful for the thing plus a thing that made things better for us. So, for example, if I had lots and lots of work to do, and then Elsie offers to do some of it for me, I could say that I am thankful for Elsie's help. Similar words to thankful include grateful. So we could say that we are very grateful for someone helping us out,、um, and we could also give thanks to someone as、mm -hmm. well. Thanks being the noun for thankful, and there's also that useful phrase "thank you," which is also related. Okay, so our example sentence for thankful is: The old couple were very thankful after their neighbors helped them move house. I can imagine so. It must have been quite difficult being、right. an old couple and moving house. <laughs> and there、mm -hmm. are so many ways to say our thanks.、Mm -hmm. 其中一个就是 thankful 这个形容词，感激的， mm -hmm. 感谢的。Be thankful for something or somebody.、Mm -hmm. 感激某人事物。
So be thankful for what you have. 感激你有的东西。那 the Hakka people 感激的是什么呢 ？They are thankful. For this important resource. Oh, okay. We saw a useful noun here, resource, which is a a material thing or object that is needed in order to make, buy, or build something else. One of the most important resources out there, for example, is money. In fact, we sometimes say, "I don't have the resources to do something" when we can't afford it. A resource doesn't have to be money, though. It can also be a building material, an energy source like oil, or even precious stones like diamonds, rubies, sapphires. Anything that is useful or valuable. A country that is rich in natural resources is a country that has lots of useful things that can help it make money, like oil. So our example sentence for resource is: For a long time, gold was the most valuable resource in the world. Resource 这个名词呢是资源的意思。那文章说到啊，客家人们很感激有这样的资源给他们。However, things have changed, as the article tells us.、Mm. While the need for tan products has decreased because of newer materials, the tree remains an important symbol for the Hakka. Oh yes, it has. Even though the need for tongue has decreased. Okay, so we have one last word to look at here, and it is a very important verb. That's right. I'm talking about to decrease. When something decreases, it gets smaller and less strong or less important than it was before.、Uh, as people get older, for example, we could say that they decrease in size, which means that they get shorter. Uh, some other ways that we can use decrease is we can also say something that decreases in number, which means that they become fewer, or decrease in price, which means that they become cheaper. We can also modify the word decrease. We can say that something decreases rapidly, or it rapidly decreases if it goes down very quickly, or that it gradually decreases, duan duan da, if it's get if it's getting slowly smaller and smaller.、Uh, increase though is the opposite. Of decrease. So when something increases in size, increases in number, or increases in price, it is getting bigger, more expensive, or there is going to be more of it. So our example sentence for、uh, decrease is: The supermarket wants to decrease the amount of food it throws out every day. Very important. Let's get rid of waste. 所、so, 以我们刚刚听到了两个动词啊、哦，一个是 decrease 减少降低，另外一个是 increase 增加。文章最后呢说到啊，虽然对于桐树产品的需求已经减少，但是呢，对于客家人来说，桐树还是一个重要的象征。我们这边用到虽然，就是刚刚我们提过的 while 这个字，代表前后的对比，也就是 although 的意思。那现在 let's get set back for our for you chat。Okay, so we're on to our for you chat now. Right,、mm -hmm. and our question for today is: What are other flowers or plants that are important to specific cultures? Hmm. Well, I'm from a different culture, and in the UK, one of the most important flowers is the rose. Okay, everybody knows、mm. the rose,、yeah. but it has a long and very interesting history in the UK. So actually, back seven、uh, hundred years ago, six hundred years ago, the fourteenth century, fifteenth、uh, century, there were some wars、uh, in the UK, a civil war between two big、uh, noble families,、mm -hmm. and one of them had a symbol which was a red rose,、mm -hmm. and the other one had a symbol which was the white rose.、Oh. And in the end, the house with the red rose won, but. When they unified the country, they put the two roses together, and today a red and white rose is actually a symbol of England. You'll see it all over the country. Oh, <laughs> and is it a symbol of peace too? It is a symbol of peace, and actually, fun fact: this war is what the series Game of Thrones is based on. Oh, Game of Thrones! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a super、okay. famous and popular show. Super famous and popular, and great. What about <laughs> you? What do you think is important? I think、mm -hmm. plum. Blossoms are important for Taiwanese、mm -hmm. since they represent our country. They symbolize、oh. perseverance and hope. 
Oh, perseverance. So people like keep trying to do yeah. something. Yeah, keep we, going, Taiwan. Right, and yeah. we always have a hope for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Well, now it's time for you guys to talk about some flowers which are important in different cultures, maybe outside of Taiwan and the UK. But from us, it's time to say goodbye, and we'll see you tomorrow for our continued look at tongue blossoms. All right. See bye you. Bye. Bye. Celebrating the Hakka Tongue Blossom Festival. Across Taiwan, masses of tongue trees explode with small snow white flowers during spring. The flowers are often called April snow or May snow. They last for about a month during tongue blossom season, attracting locals and tourists alike with their beauty. The importance of the tongue trees exists side by side with Hakka culture. During the Japanese rule of Taiwan. Tong trees were widely planted in areas where many Hakka people lived. Some of the biggest areas are in Taoyuan, Xinzhou, and Miaoli, while others include Tucheng and Yunnan. Tong oil and wood became an important cash crop for Hakka people. The oil was used as a raw material for paint because of its water resistance. Wooden shoes, matches, and toothpicks were commonly made from tong trees. At the time, products were mostly made and sold locally. The money they earned from selling tong products helped Hakka families earn a living and buy food. The Hakka people made themselves known by making tong products, and they are thankful for this important resource. While the need for tong products has decreased because of newer materials. The tree remains an important symbol for the Hakka. Vocabulary review. Explode. The population of the U.S. exploded after World War II because people had so many babies. Raw. Raw wool must go through several processes before it is ready to be made into clothes. Mostly, since I don't have a car, I mostly take buses and trains around town. Thankful, I was thankful that my friend gave me his extra coat because the weather was colder than expected. Resource. The most important natural resource in this country is silver. Decrease. The number of smokers has decreased since people started to learn about its bad effects. The show is produced by Huayong Kongzhong Language Media. 活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。